Well, we have seen the king and the queen's rooms, individual rooms in this palace. And now it's time to see another royal family's living place in this palace. Uh, this time I will introduce you to Hagyeongjeon. Hagyeongjeon is the queen dowager's living place in this palace. Uh, it was made by Hongseon Daewonggun, who is Gojong, King, King Gojong's father. And it was made to show his gratitude to uh, uh, Queen Dowager Jo because she helped his son Gojong to become a king. And so I think that this Jagyeongjeon also has a lot of beautiful things like other other points, other uh, yeah. And so maybe let's move on. Just first let's move on and see what is here. Uh, first, I want to tell you about the flower stories. Uh, these flower stories are very beautiful. They, you might think that it is not like that decorative and not that spectacular, but uh, I think it was very beautiful at that time, and, and a lot of people thought like that. And I also think like that too. Uh, there are patterns in both outside and the inside of the stories, and they are quite elaborate. Uh, yeah, very elaborate. And these uh, patterns include peaches, pionis, like pomegranates, bamboos, or like uh, letters that says Chunjangnyeon, Mangangnak. Oh, I forgot one. Also, apricot flowers. And these decorations all that or all uh, symbolize things of the Queen Dowager's longevity. So it just all meant the Queen Dowager to live long life happily. Okay, now we are done with these stories. It was quite short, but next move on. The second beautiful thing, a lot of great thing in this palace is chimneys. <laughs> Maybe if there were chimneys in Gangyeongjeon, there is one more again. Um, yeah, it is quite a different feeling, but uh, this chimney ha is decorated, also decorated with uh, symbols that symbolize the longevity again. It is even named 10 symbols of longevity. Uh, and these symbols include the sun and the moon, clouds, mountains, rocks, water, deer, cranes, turtles, and an elixir plant. So, so it, oh, as I said before, it meant the Queen Dowager to live a long life happily. And there are also bats and honeysuckle vines and an imaginary, imaginary creature, Purgasari, in this chimney. Uh, these three ones that I uh, introduced are uh, blocking the evil spirits to make fire in from the chimney. And maybe I, I think or like many people think that the Queen Dowager might have like uncovered their like world and restricted minds by this beautiful pattern because it is very elaborate as I said and very pretty. And before I end, uh, I want to just tell you one more information, which can be like a fun fact. Uh, another fun fact about these stories and chimneys is that they preserve heat very well. Well, many people can think that people just uh, concentrated on the visuals and did not uh, concentrate, focus on the, their ut utilities, but actually they preserve heat very well, which is doing their roles very good very well and another one is that there are also many kegur which are tiny chimneys like uh, windows in this outer walls uh, exist a lot there are many ones of them uh, well I can I will not just explain very much about them but I will just say that there is a mind of not missing any of the heat uh, and like yeah uh, the mind of the ancestors to not miss any heat are hidden in this many caverns.